Hey guys, welcome to season 10 of Cozy Women Podcast. My name is Shan, aka Mama of the Girls. Thank you for checking out another season of Cozy Women Podcast. Hey guys, thank you for checking out Cozy Women Podcast. My name is Shan. This is actually going to be a bonus episode because I meant to do this last season, but um, things just got in the way. So um, this is a bonus episode on maternal gatekeeping, all right? And I'm going to explain what that is and how it's a sickness that has a lot of women living within their ignorance um, while they're supposed to be mothers out here and parenting in a fair way and they can't because maternal gatekeeping is in the way a lot of people are not aware of what that is so um i'm just gonna fill y'all in so hopefully you guys stick around for this show thank you for checking it out thank you for clicking and downloading let's get into it hey guys hope you're enjoying the show don't forget to check out teespring.com slash stores slash cozy womb shop where you can find hoodies Mama stuff bag, hoodies for kids, fanny packs, mugs, t-shirts for dads, socks for moms, and sweatshirts, all right? I got your merch on there. I also have Mama's Cozy Shop, which is a cozy shop for mama-like things, all right? Back to the show. Here we go. Back to the show. Back to the show. And we're back. Hey. All right. So let's just break this thing down. Maternal gatekeeping. What is that? It's a mindset where mothers feel this overwhelming need to control everything when it comes to their child and the other parent. Okay. It's a sick need to control how much fathers should be involved in their children's lives. To me... (laughs) A sane mother would want it to be balanced where a father spends the equal amount of time, the equal amount of emotional, uh, spiritual, mental space with that child just like she does. And also the physical. Like, why would I want to take away time that I can have to myself and you can bond with your kids? Like, why would I want to take that away? So... Many mothers do that today, and it shouldn't be an option. It shouldn't be a thing. But with this quote-unquote justice system, and I say quote-unquote because it really doesn't push justice first when it comes to parents and parenting and co-parenting, I feel like fathers deserve equal time with their kids. Fathers deserve to figure out who their child is and not be cap that oh you only get 10 minutes or oh, I'm gonna stay right here or oh, you only get an hour and it's gotta be at your mom's house and I'm gonna stay right there and uh this person can't be there and that person can't be there and I don't like what you're buying them and don't put it in this account give me the money like it's too much control okay kids deserve to see all outer mirrors of who they are in a positive light and it's going to be hard to do that when you have a mother who is trying to control everything about the situation involving that child. When you have a father that just wants to jump over the hurdle, the obstacle that is a child's mother, just so they can figure out, oh, okay, finally, it's just you and me. It's just me and my son. It's just me and my daughter. Now I can relax. Now I can stop yelling. Now I can stop feeling overwhelmed by just trying to get you some diapers. Just trying to see you for Christmas or see you for your birthday. Or why do we have to meet here? You know, why is it always rah, rah, rah when I come through? Why are you so angry? All of that has to do with maternal gatekeeping. And I say that it is a sickness because it is something that needs to be treated, something that needs to be talked about, and something that needs to be dealt with. Because a lot of mothers are getting in the way of fathers having relationships with their children. And we know what happens when fathers do not have relationships with their child, whether it's a boy or a girl. It's not pretty. It's not good. 
Um, I'm not saying you cannot be successful or your child cannot be successful without a father being there like they should. I'm just saying, why gamble that when that doesn't have to be the option? I'm saying, why chance it? You know, some mothers, just because they haven't grown up with a father being present, they feel like that father is not needed or is unnecessary or they can do it all themselves. Let me tell you something. I cannot do all of everything when it comes to parenting by myself. Okay. My daughters need their fathers to be involved, period. And it is my job not to get in the way of that. Now, if it's dealing with the safety and the mental capacity of their father is not being the best, I have to protect my child. But if it's not that, if it's not a safety issue, if it's not a mental issue, if it's not an abusive issue, why are you standing in the way of your child having a, a relationship with their father? What are you so angry about? What do you think is going to happen? You Let me tell you something. As much as I would like to control everything involving my kids, I cannot, okay? I cannot. And a lot of mothers are struggling with the anxiety of not being in control. And a lot of fathers are suffering and a lot of kids are suffering because mothers do not want to realize, deal with, and fix the fact that they are in the way of their kids being the happiest kids on earth. They are in the way of fathers being able to relate with, you know, what my struggle is as a mother, how hard it is to take care of these kids every day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, homework, uh, trips, uniforms, all of this. A lot of men cannot have the mental capacity of what it is to be a mother for a woman because a woman is in the way of letting him experience what it is to take care of a child that they help create. Imagine if fathers would be able to be around their newborn the same amount of time that a mother can. If they were able to take the same amount of maternity leave and know that their benefits are still there, they're still getting money to pay their bills, and they can spend quality time with that newborn. Other countries do it. So I feel like the U.S. needs to make that a thing. If you as a man have a newborn that was just born, you need to be able to spend at least at the minimum six weeks around that child with paid leave. I don't even care if you make $11 an hour. You need to be able to spend time bonding with that child because a mother gets to bond with that baby as that baby is growing inside her. Okay. And then the birth of that baby and taking care of that baby during maternity leave is just another level of it. A father does not really get to bond with that child until that baby is physically out that mother. So if a woman has a child and she gets to be on maternity leave and a father doesn't, and then put on top of that, he doesn't live in the household. Listen, that bonding that needs to take place to have the understanding of what it is to take care of a newborn is going to be missed. And that's what we're dealing with. So I'm going to get into maternal gatekeeping. Y'all sit tight after these messages. Psst. Do you hear this silence? It doesn't have to be silence if you would just go ahead and promote your business. If you have a service of business or products that are parenting related, helping the lives of parents, helping the lives of children, anything educational that you're doing, a book that's coming out and you want to promote it, this is the ad space for you. Cozy Womb Podcast is providing people the opportunity to go ahead and promote their own business service or product, okay? I have pre-roll space. I have mid-roll space. So just let me know. You can email me at CozyWombMama at gmail.com or you can DM me on IG or Twitter at CozyWombPod. Let's get back into the show. I could really speak on maternal gatekeeping because as a mom, when you know you've been the most responsible one, you haven't had any breaks to do whatever you wanted and a father has, it's easy to feel like 
you have to do it. You have to be in control of it because that's the only way things are going to get done right. And that's not true. I I had to learn how to get out of the way of my kids' relationships with their dads. It's just better this way. You know what I'm saying? It's just better if they have their time and their space with their child and you have time to reflect on you as an individual, you as a mother, how you can better parent. You can have a clear head. You can go do something you need to do for yourself in the meantime. So you don't have to constantly be there all the time. You don't have to constantly be in control all the time. Kids will see who their parents are in real life. You don't have to dog the other parent. You don't have to remind them that, you know, their dad isn't this, their dad won't do this. Just just, just be there and just do your part and be, be the mom. For dads out there who want to be a part of their kids' lives, I'm sorry if that's what you have to deal with. You have to know the state laws for your parental rights. I hope your kid's mother matures because that's what it involves. Like, one of my kid's dads, I cannot speak to him on the phone. Like, I remember him calling my phone one time and us having like a short discussion and me running a red light because I was just so inflamed as to all that I've been going through and all that I wanted to say that just the mentioning of his name or seeing his name or the audacity for him to call because he just wanted to out the blue and he never called for months or he never checked in. Just the audacity to be able to wake up every day and not feel like you need to check in on a human being that you brought into this world. To not know if your child had something to eat today. To not know if your child been going to the doctor. To not know if your child's been going to school. To not know if your child is in need and you just wake up every day and you get to chill. You get to, do, to go do what you want. You get to go travel. Um, you get to not uh, do any of your responsibilities as a man, as a father. And then you just decide to call out the blue like it's nothing. So things like that was a slap in the face for me. So it it took a lot of me to mature past that. It takes a lot of maturity to let go of pride and hurt and focus on a child. Even if you're right, you have to take yourself out of it, okay? A lot of fathers have a lot of audacity, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying that they don't, but don't rob your child of everything regarding a relationship with their dad. Dad's love can go a long way, okay? You just never know. So do what you can do. Um, if you need to seek some type of counseling, do that. Um, please just don't give up on having a relationship with your child. Don't you know, not try and wait until they're like 19 years old and pop up and be like, hey, you're not excited to see your dad? Nah, they're not going to be excited. They're going to be pissed. They're going to be angry. They're going to be hurt. Um, They're going to want to wish that they were excited, but they can't get past their anger and all their questions that they had for decades. Um, So just don't wait because you don't know, especially now during a pandemic. You just don't know what the next day is going to be and just figure out a way to stop trying to be in control and figure out what that problem is where you feel like you have to be in control all the time. My name is Shan. (laughs) This no longer, uh, I think this whole episode was advice, but if I was supposed to give you a cozy moon tip, (sighs) get out the way, get out the way of you having a relaxed day, get out the way of you having options regarding your child, get out the way of your child's father and that child so they can figure out where they can be better, so they can figure out how much they were missed, so they can figure out how important it is for them to be a father in that child's life. And so you can realize that, man, I did just get like a break for like a few days. I did just get a break for like three hours because they were with the dad. I did like that time to myself. Or I never knew that I needed that time to myself. So stop getting in the way. Thank you for listening to Cozy Room Podcast. I'll see you again with another episode. Peace. Bye. Bye.